Eden folks, howdy. Hope this is coming through all right. Hope you're all well. So we had a really interesting chat tonight and got me thinking. What we were talking about were different MIDI controllers. Not all MIDI controllers are equal or the same. Most of them all work. They can all be joined together. You can't really make a wrong move until you do make a wrong move. And that's kind of the whole point of the MIDI Scientist Club, is to shed light on what you need and work together to sort stuff out. Now, I'll give you the reason why it's a Line 6 MIDI Mad Scientist Club. The old Helix here. <clears throat> I'm not going to hold this thing. The Helix. Can I switch it? No, I can't. Let's just go with the voice. So the Helix. All of them except for the HX Stomp are MIDI controllers to full effect and pretty wild ones. Since 2.9, you can do a hell of a lot of stuff. But for the most part, for a guitarist, we're not doing anything complicated. All we're doing is PC commands, CC commands, expression pedals for the most part. PC commands bring up presets. And in every helix, big ones, small ones, you basically count from zero, the first one, to 127. So 128 presets. On a big helix, you've got five, six, seven folders worth. And to get to them, sometimes you want to do that, you have to put in two commands. One would be a CC command, CC32. Another one would be a PC command. 0 to 127. And finally, if you want to go direct to a snapshot, you need to put in a CC69. Now, if you are ever confused about that, it's a simple thing to do. Click on the preset button. Look at the screen. It will tell you exactly those three sets of numbers, CC32, PC, and CC69, and the sub numbers. That's a, a line six thing. That's how they organize stuff. And to get to that, you need a MIDI controller that will allow you to send multiple commands one after the other to specifically do that. Not all MIDI controllers do that. So a lot of the old ones maybe will do just PC. I think there was one called a MIDI mouse or something or Tech 21. Important thing is this, in the group, we do not distinguish between controllers saying good, bad, or different. We say, what can they do and how can you use them? So if you've got an old controller that's knocking around, we will help you get that hooked up. We have no affiliations with manufacturers. You will see a lot of Morningstar stuff because, yay. We'll also see a lot of me bigging up the DAE electronics, and I need to set a record straight on that because in this discussion we had some stuff and it wasn't quite right, and the gray cells started ticking over. So, what else can we say about MIDI controllers? Usually very simple. In the case of this one, the DAE electronics, this is a handmade Italian super duper three thumbs up for me controller. And it's Arduino based. A big section in the group are actually people who are out there doing Arduino stuff, do it yourselfers, who make their own. This one started out like that. It's actually a company by a friend of mine, and it has a lot of pretty incredible things. But let's make sure something is right. The biggest part of any controller, this one, the Morningstar one, software ones like Onsong, apps like MidiPad 2, are the editors. You need to be able to get in and put in a very specific value for a helix. So CC69000 would be the first snapshot. 001 would be the second, 002, etc. up until 8 on a big helix or up until 2 for the third snapshot on a stomp. Not all controllers will let you do that. Some of them, like the, I think, um, 
what's it called? The MIDI audio. There's there's one that's out by Harley Benton. There's another one that's it's a Chinese copy of another one. And sometimes those will lock onto either a value of zero or a value of 128, like off and on. And that will not work. So not for that specific job. So biggest bet if you're new and there's a bunch of new guys coming in the group. To avoid confusion, to avoid you having something that the marketing people say, yeah, of course it will work. Well, yeah, all of them will work. But will it do what your Line 6 device needs to do? Most of the time, yeah. Sometimes, no. And there's nothing worse, especially for you know any musician on a budget who's going out and getting something that has not been fully baked to get caught up in the marketing nonsense. So we try and fix that. <clears throat> One thing I want to really fix is this. Any Arduino-based controller that's out there, so all the homemade ones, if you want to make one yourself, you can. If you want to buy one, there are tons of them. They can all stack commands. They can stack any number of commands, maybe even 20. Morningstar stacks up 16, I think. A snapshot stacks up up to 64. So think of it like a shopping list. If we talk about snapshots, internal snapshots are in the Line 6 preset. External snapshots would be a list, again, of commands where you hit a button and they get executed. You can do that inside the helix, you can do that outside the helix. So, very important. There are all kinds of other little tiny things that come up every once in a while. Tonight that came up. So, for my boy G Jorg, who has one of these, he got his one the same time I did. Mate, I believe you can actually set this up. I confirmed with Dom that you can set this up to toggle two amps with two different values and switch back and forth because you can stack commands on it. And it can only be done as a firmware upgrade. And this one, the guy that makes it, creates firmware based on what you want and sends it to you and everything works. It's typically the way it goes. His editor is pretty good but it wasn't designed to do super complicated things. Morningstar's editor is super good and does everything. It's super, super cool. But there's a difference in price between these. So for someone who's coming in on a budget and wants to know what to do, use the hive mind. That's what we're here for. It's up to us to demystify MIDI because for most people, it scares the crap out of them when they first start. I only started a year ago. It's really not that hard. It can be fixed. Um, there can sometimes be confusion, and we're here to stop that and share our experiences amongst one another. So that's my experience. I would certainly love to... Uh, I'm going to recustomize this one and try it out, because now I'm curious. But I'm damn sure it works, and Dom says it'll work, so it'll work. But there you go. That's the crux of it. Like any other group, there are no problems with beginner questions. So if you're just coming in, ask away. Like fire away, fire away. Give us your difficulties and problems because we really dig going out there and solving stuff like this so that nobody else has to sit there with their head banging like that, which is not a cool thing. It does happen sometimes, you know. But for the most part, all this stuff is really simple and we try and keep it that way for everybody. So the real difficulty, if you're getting into MIDI, is deciding what you want to do with the stuff. And some things, let me clear this up. The jet ones, which are a tiny little three button controller, three foot switch controller, 
those are also pre-programmed and those are set to work with the stomp and that's cool if you just have a stomp if you're just keeping it simple if you just want to use one of them that's really cool because they take all the work out of it for you and you just have to program the stomp and they send you a page of instructions and it's really easy and off you go if you then want to add another MIDI device, like a Sim 1 or a Plethora or an Iridium or other things, then you need the ability to send multiple commands. You need to be able to say box server here, do this, box server there, do that. If you're like me and you have four, God help you. It can be done, but you need to, to start thinking about it and you need to not back yourself into corners and get yourself into trouble. Don't ask me how I know that. So use the hive mind. That's what we're here for. We will take the headaches out of this stuff um, if we can. For the most part, we're batting 10 out of 10. So check you later, peoples.